good scene. Seven o'clock, I'd like to call to order the zoning, the Planning and Zoning Commission of the Village of Bartlett, Connie's of Cook, DuPage, and Kane. Please call the roll. Bob Picaro. Here. Carly DeVoe. Here. Mark Hopkins. Here. Julie Capodococcus. George Koziel. Here. Don Miasso. Here. Michelle Sarwaz. Don Batterman. Yeah, here. Mike Weirden. Here. You have before you the minutes from the August 3rd, 2023 Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. Is there anything that needs to be changed? No. Chair will entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Moved by John, seconded by George. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Charlie Duvall. Yes. Mark Hopkins. Yes. George Koziel. Yes. Don Miasso. Yes. Bob Picaro. Yes. John Batterman. Yes. Mike Weirden. Yes. Public forum. This is a chance if anybody has anything to address that is not on the agenda for tonight. Does anybody have anything that needs to be addressed? Okay. First item on the agenda, case number 2308, 1027 Valewood Road. Are the petitioners pre present? Please come up to the microphone so that I can swear you in. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly affirm that the evidence you're about to give is only the whole truth? Yes. Do we have the mailings, the newspaper article, and the picture of the sign? Mark those exhibits A, B, and C. Anyone else that's going to speak, please be sure to get a form in the back and fill it out and sign it. That way I don't have to swear you in. Go ahead and present your case. Um, I'm here this evening to... Your name and address, I'm sorry, name and address. Judy Chufo at 1027 Valewood Road, Bartlett. Okay. I'm here to ask for a variance to the rear setback of my property. Um, when my house was originally built, it was there was no ordinance to the rear setback and has since been, um, there has been an ordinance in 1978, I believe. There was one added. Um, I believe it's a 45 foot setback, rear setback. Um, I have, there's an existing patio. Um, I would like to replace that with a three season room um, which would be taking up less than half of what the patio is. It does meet the, it, it falls below what the permeable area is. So it falls within the um, rules of what, um, the guidelines of what is asked for. Um, I feel that there's hardship because of where the house was placed um, how far it was set back on my property when the house was built. And currently it doesn't meet the ordinance. The 45 foot setback runs through like the middle of my living room. <laughs> um, I would not be able to fix my house if something happened at this point um, without a variance. So I would need to get a variance on that anyway. Um, I don't feel that it it is outside of the scope of what the current neighborhood looks like. Um, it's in the rear of my house and it would not, it doesn't, it's not gonna add to, it's a ranch house. It's a three season room. It's gonna remain a, a ranch style. Um, so I'm asking for that variance to have that um, addition added. I was out there and took a look at the, the property. You, you definitely have a unique situation. Um, your entire backyard is along the side of the neighbors behind you. And with a huge white fence, it kind of clips off at an angle. Um, and at that northeast corner of your yard, I don't think your lot is even half the depth of the next door neighbor to the north. Um, Correct. 
you have a huge front yard, yeah. you could have a big picnic out there, but there's not much to the backyard. So you have a very unique situation. And I think you bring up a good point that the proposal is uh, less than half of the permeable space that's already taken up by the patio. So you would be removing the entire patio? It would be removing, the, the current patio is approximately 29 feet wide and 20 feet deep and I would be putting it, I'm asking to be putting on a 12 by 14 foot three season room and then I would put on a small patio to the side of it so the entire thing would take up less than what's currently there. And so the exterior of the proposed room would match currently what you have on the rest of the house? Yes, the, the, the outside exterior would, would match the rest of the house. Okay, and you would not be uh, having gas lines go in there for heat, right? No gas, no HVAC. Okay. Just a, a three season room. Any questions from the board? How long, <clears throat> excuse me, how long have you lived in the house? Uh, I moved into Bartlett um, for the July weekend of 2022. 22. Yeah. You don't have a basement, do you? I do not. Okay. Staff, you had, did you get any phone calls on this or emails? I did not receive any phone calls or emails regarding this request. Okay. Any other questions before we open it up to the public? No. Okay, at this point we shall open this up for public hearing. If anybody has anything to say, um, Kim or Christy will call your name. Yes. Give your name and address, please. Your name and address. Sherry and Freiburg with James Freiburg and Sparrow, our neighbor. Um, we are at 1028 Lakewood. He's at 1032. 1028 Lakewood probably back in the day should have never been built. I've had, we flooded, we flooded so much and everybody just wants to do a little bit more to their property and the water just keeps coming into 1028 and 1032. Excuse me, so across you're the across street. the street from her, right? Yeah, you're across no. the street. 1028? We're behind. Oh, I'm looking at the 1028. Yeah, so okay. the guy behind us, we bought the house, we were kids, and we got a letter very similar to this where they wanted to build a garage. We didn't think anything of it. We didn't realize that there was some theory called the horseshoe drainage here in Bartlett at Apple Orchard. And so, in theory, if nobody built on to their houses or brought in some dirt into their yard, then all the water would drain. But it doesn't happen that way anymore. Okay. So that's our big concern. We don't care. We, we like when people improve their property, but we just want to make sure that their, the water is going to go somewhere other than 1028 or 1032 Lakewood Drive. That's our only concern, because we're low. Mm -hmm. I had Brian, um, my husband went up on the roof one time when we were flooding, and he took a picture, and you could see all the water from Valewood rushing down to both of our properties, from Valewood and Lakewood, meeting at 1028 and 1032 Lakewood. And out in the street or where from all this from all of the the property on those streets so um brian had suggest initially that we close our basement door like close it off and i said well no because then there goes our property value so then he came up with um this drain tile so we he allowed us to do something with a drain tile and my husband and father did this drain tile to protect our property. But since then, people are still bringing in dirt. And the last time we had a, a torrential downfall, 
our sump pump wouldn't stop, we were getting rushed with water again. So that's our only concern is the water. Where is the water going to go? And I think that's, my husband would speak to that, and so would Sparrow. Okay. okay. So that's our only concern is the water, the drainage. In your case, you're not planning to bring in any more dirt or anything, right? That's going to be the same level as the house. You're Talking about 1019? Is higher? 1019 is higher. Is higher, right. For the staff, has anybody, uh, Public Works, been advised of this or addressed this or the people complained? This is the first that I'm hearing about this. Um, I, I, I wish you had called sooner so that I would have like a better answer for you. I'm kind of looking at the grading. This is an older subdivision, so there weren't drainage easements in the rear yard. Um, you said you talked to Brian. Was Brian. that Brian Gorowski like a few years ago? A long time ago. Okay, yeah. okay. So, I mean, I would recommend talking with Dan Dingus and Bob Allen at Public Works. He's the village engineer. They've come up with some new ideas to help kind of work with residents when there's drainage complaints. Okay. So our only, is that's our only concern, and it's still happening, you know, and people think nothing of it because if they don't have a basement or they've never flooded, they don't think about bringing in a truckload of dirt and putting it on their property, you know, so. So. So that could be coming from anywhere. Let's get, let, let's get your, why don't you come up to the microphone, let's get your name and add, oh, what, did he fill out a sheet? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like this is like the low area for the entire block, so the water's draining from north to south. Okay. So newer subdivisions have storm drains, storm sewers in the rear yards typically to collect this along the way. Unfortunately, this subdivision does not have that. As it was from 1960, I think. I Correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So there might be something that we can look into. Again, that's why I'm saying that's a public works issue that we can definitely address. And when they co she comes in for building permit, we can ask for a grading plan at that time to make sure there isn't drainage, go additional drainage going on to the neighboring properties. Okay. okay. Name and address, please. Uh, James Freiberg, 1028 Lakewood Drive. Okay. So what happens is, is um, the house next to hers, that one right there, his yard is higher than mine, hers, and Sparrow's. And they have a garage right in the back corner there. And right in that corner, from all the way up between all of the houses there, that whole line that grades there, the water pitches to that at the highest point of the hill and then runs down the hill and then hits my yard right there in the corner, right where his pointer is right there. I had to dig down and put a catch basin for a sump pump. And then we dug all the way across the back fence and then all the way out to the main sewer line and put in a drain tile through that. So, and then we had to put up a, you know, a, a retention wall, you know, landscaping bricks. 
So when the rains come like it does, the water rushes down, hits the wall, runs into the drain tile, and then out. And even still, even after we did all of that, everybody changes their grading, water still comes on slot, and we're still running our sump pump nonstop during the rains. And we don't have a problem with these folks upgrading their houses, and we, we wholeheartedly agree with everything they want to do, but sooner or later, somebody's got to do something about keeping the water flow away from everybody else's houses. Basically, we're here to make sure that we don't get flooded again, because my house and Sparrow's house is the lowest on the whole block. When the water comes down, it settles in our yard. Questions? I think, as I recall, your backyard was pretty level and flat, right? It, there's not. Um, at the back of the patio, it starts going up towards spirits. Towards, towards spirits. <clears throat> so some would run toward your house. It would run towards my house, not yeah. away from my house. Okay. My name is Spiro Argyris at 1032 Lakewood Drive. Uh, thanks for hearing us out. Uh, we've lived with this situation for quite a while. Personally, I'm, I'm a pretty passive guy. And, uh, and I, over the years, I just figured this is the way it is. I'm surprised, quite honestly, when Pasquinelli put the properties in, that, that grade, if you will, did not hold up over time because people were doing what they were doing in their yards. Pasquinelli had no control over that, obviously. But we are living with that problem now. Um, I have been flooded twice, uh, once pretty extensively, uh, heavy rains uh, did a number to, the, uh, to our lower level. I've had water maybe about I'm going to guess here about seven or eight years. I was fortunate, though, it wasn't as extensive. I don't want to go through that again. I think knowing Judy's uh, uh, patio layout and her explaining it, it is a lower level uh, than where our property lies uh, is assuring. I, just, I came more to to determine, or not determine, but to learn uh, if there would be a, 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 a gradient, pro a great problem when putting in this addition. Uh, there is a high level of ground, if you will, that is to the other side of the garage facing uh, Lakewood Drive. I do get water pooled up over there, as well as the water from not too bad, but enough to make me concerned if we, with, with the change of weather and you hear about climate control, these rains are getting more unpredictable now, okay? I guess what the, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Uh, that's pretty much what I want to say. I just want the assurance that, uh, that the grade is maintained uh, to, for both Judy's protection, if you will, and ours as well. Uh, we have no pro uh, have problem, and I like to ask the village, what can we do, it was brought up earlier, uh, to assure our properties uh, are, are not in uh, uh, jeopardized in the event of uh, some severe rains, and we're going to get them. Uh, that's pretty evident. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Just so I understand, what lot number are you? He's 1032. 1032, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. But I just need clarification because I, what I heard was the lot in 1032 is lower than 1027, the petitioner's lot. And she's saying it's not, and I think um, you said it was, so which lot is lower, 1032 or 1027? I think there's a corner. 
Yeah. On the north. Okay, now the petitioner, though, didn't say that was the case, so that's where I'm confused. Uh, you know, well, That's where the two fences come together. Drain down. I'm definitely going to let Public Works know about this, yeah. so and let them know. And then, if it's okay with you, if you could give us our phone, your phone numbers or emails afterwards, so they can contact you directly to have an inspection done. So it, it sure seems like there's two things on the table right now, right? One of them, does the petitioner's request make matters worse? I don't think it will. No, no, I don't think anybody in the room does. Uh, it's 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 less impervious area, and whenever you take away impervious, right, it, it helps absorption. It, it's not going to change the water course. So that's one thing, is that the petitioner's request seems to be fine for stormwater, but that we have an underlying big problem. So that's why Christy is, is saying, hey, let's put you guys together back together with Public Works because that's their business to try to solve these that things. When, when this all started for us, we got old Brian, I don't know his last name. Goralski. And he gave us carte blanche to do whatever we wanted other than building the Berlin Wall. <laughs> <laughs> Southern Border Wall. Southern Border Wall. Sometimes you need to show up to the town hall portion of the village hall, yeah, of the village, of the village board meeting. Wow. You know, there, there is a public uh, comment portion of the uh, village board meeting, and yeah. those are the real decision makers. I've just been trying to keep my head down and keep my, <laughs> my, my hand from floating away. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs>
Well, in this case, she's actually in increasing the, uh, the amount of land that will perk with water being able to drain down by pulling out the patio. Well, we're glad to see that you're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> Her backyard is too small to have a picnic, so she's not out there to invite you over. Yeah. <laughs> you could play hide and go seek in her front yard, so. We could play, yeah. Our backyard is half the size of hers. Just to be sure, when you compare the square footage of the patio to the square footage of the addition, is it correct that? the square footage of the addition is less than the patio? The current patio, if we measure <clears throat> The current patio is approximately 29 by 20. Big patio. It could host quite the polka party. Um, and the addition is planned for 12 by 14. With a little patio adjacent to it, you said? With a small patio adjacent off to the side, not to the back. But you're, you did say that the total impervious area is decreasing. I believe so. Or you have... Well, it's, it, it, and the allowable is 35%, and it, is, it would be at 20. Yeah, but that's, yeah you're in line. Not, you said? Okay. 23%. It's uh, 35. Okay. Yeah, the view, like you went out there, um, the patio itself, like she's saying, is huge. Yeah. And a 12 by 14 three seasons room is probably a little bit less than the size of her patio. A so, lot, yes. Yeah, a lot less. So, yes. Might be able to fit four of them on there. Well, <laughs> We're, I'm sorry. She, she might, she might get the be, neighborhood picnic in the yard when that gets built. <laughs> should be moving along because the lady has answered the questions in writing. The comments here, they were worried about the water, which is great, but we need to approve or disapprove this lady's request. Amen. Okay. Does anyone else have anything to say? You had filled out a sheet, you're not going, okay. At this point, uh, any further discussion or motions from the board? Make a motion we approved. Uh, based on the findings based of Based on the findings of fact and all that good stuff. 23, what the hell is it? <laughs> oh. 67. What's the 2308? Am I missing something here? That's the case the number. Case number. Okay. Mm -hmm. 2367. So I make a motion we approve the request and uh, development service more. The 2367. Did I say that right? Incorrectly? It should be 2308, case number 20. You agree to that, Charlie? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You threw okay, me off. A okay. Motion on the floor at this point. I shall close the public hearing portion. Is there a second? Second. Any further discussion? Okay, it's moved by Charlie, seconded by John Yazzo. Please call the roll. Mark Hopkins? Yes. George Koziel? Yes. John Miasso? Yes. Bob Baccaro? Yes. John Batterman? Yes. Charlie DeVoe? Yes. Mike Weirden? Yes. Okay, we shall pass on a 
positive motion to the village board. Uh, any idea when that might get on? Um, I have it scheduled for committee on, it would be October 17th, I believe, and then a final vote would be in November. Okay. Okay, good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Uh, only thing left is new business, old business. Um, you will definitely have one case next month, possibly two, for s trucking logistic companies in Brewster Creek Business Park. Oh, ah. okay. I will not be here at that meeting, so Daniel will be running it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Any motions to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Moved by John to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.